And I came home in 1942. Me and another boy were sent home. Never happened before, I think, like that. And um, so I was at home, and people came to ask me about my son and so on. But everything, I said, everybody was okay. And then two weeks later, they decided to liquidate our town of all the Jews. And uh, they asked us to go to a square, they counted us, and then they marched us up to a church, a Catholic church, uh, men, women, and children, and we went into the church, and there was eventually 4,000 people in a small church, I would say, well, it's three times as big as this length of this thing, of this uh, place here. And um, so there was no water, no food, or no toilet facilities. Imagine 4,000 people just, just for no, they didn't know what to do. The nuns run this church and they tried everything. They couldn't do, they didn't know what to do. And uh, after 24 hours being there, um, they told us to come out. And I noticed assessment, same people had been in, had been in the camp. And um, got me water right away because they were very brutal people. And they told us to come out. And, and then they asked you, what's your profession? I told them I was a tailor. Never had a needle in my hand, but I said, if I can do something, they'll take me. No, they told me to go with my mother, brothers, and sisters. Back into and the church? Back into the church. Mm -hmm. And then when I got back in the church, I was very thirsty. Uh, I said to my mother, if you give me a pencil, I'll try and get some water at the gate. So as I approached the gate, with the same assessment, said to me, what's your profession? Once again. Once again, and I told him I was a tailor. This time he told me to get out and join the 105 people which had been chosen, I was sent for work. And then um, we were marched off to a railway station and we were taken to Lodge. And um, they took us to Lodge, 60 miles away. Very large city, similar to Manchester, textile mills and so on. And there they made a ghetto of 160,000 people and we were working for the German war effort, making uniforms, cloth, and shirts, and everything for the German army. Boots, hats, and um, when I arrived there, we stayed in the building. Uh, they picked 150 people from our town for this ghetto. And um, then they came in order. They want 4,000 children up to the age of 14. I was hit, uh, hiding on the cemetery behind two stones, praying that they shouldn't catch me. And um, after two days, they had the 10,000 children and they sent them to a forest called Helno. Uh, that was, there was a cutout in the forest, very large forest, and they cast them in bands, and then they buried them into three mass graves.